Hello guys, uh, welcome back and today we are going to see some nursing diagnosis and uh, one important care plan for myocardial infection. Okay, so what is myocardial infection? So myocardial infection or MI or acute myocardial infection or heart attack. So you can use this nursing diagnosis which I have enlisted here and this nursing care plan. You know, you can use for uh, myocardial infection, acute myocardial infection as well as for heart attack. So, acute myocardial infection is otherwise known as heart attack actually. So, it is irreversible necrosis damage of myocardial muscles of heart due to lack of blood supply to the muscle. So, lack of blood supply to the muscle is otherwise known as what? Ischemia. So, it is a irreversible necrosis damage of myocardial muscles of heart due to lack of blood supply to the muscles okay so if there is no proper blood supply so when you write your nursing diagnosis uh, first you have to understand the condition properly as well as the signs and symptoms then only for the signs and symptoms you can develop the nursing diagnosis as well as the care plan so what is the etiology behind this myocardial infection means it is because of lack of oxygen supply to the myocardial layer of heart there are three layers for heart myocardial layer is the muscle layer of heart a myocardial myo it's somewhat related to muscle, so muscle layer of heart. So if there is less blood supply to the muscle layer of heart, that means myocardial layer of the heart, there are chances of what? If there is no proper oxygen supply to the blood, uh, to the particular area, means what will happen? Cell death will happen and necrosis will happen and that can lead to a myocardial infraction. And first and foremost sign for this myocardial infraction is angina. Angina means it's nothing but radiating chest pain. There are different type of myocardial infractions <coughs> ST segment elevation myocardial infection and non ST segment elevation myocardial infection. So basically, the doctors will identify myocardial infraction from ECG by observing this ST segment elevations because ST segment elevation is one of the major uh, diagnostic feature in myocardial infraction. So based on that elevation, there are two type of myocardial infractions: non ST segment elevation as well as ST segment elevation. This is about myocardial infraction. I just gave it, just give a brief description only. Myocardial infraction is, um, there is a lot more to discuss about myocardial infraction. So I think I have discussed already everything in a video. So previous videos, please go through the videos. You will get more information. Okay. So I, basically I am focusing on nursing diagnosis. But I just want to say that if you want to drive the nursing diagnosis, you have to understand the condition properly. You have to understand the signs and symptoms. So for that, what you have to do, you have to read the case sheet properly right so nursing diagnosis so these are all some of the very important nursing diagnosis which you can use in myocardial infection first one is acute and continuous chest pain related to lack of blood supply to the heart muscles secondary to myocardial infection as evidenced by discomfort in arm jaw shoulders and nausea risk for peripheral tissue perfusion related to left ventricular dysfunction and impaired cardiac output Ineffective cardiac tissue perfusion, lack of proper coronary blood flow. Ineffective cardiac tissue perf perfusion related to lack of uh, coronary blood flow. Anxiety related to continuous chest pain as evidenced by tiredness. Knowledge deficit related to disease condition as evidenced by post MI care. MI means nothing but myocardial care. Okay, guys. Then. So this is only one care plan I have added that is for acute and continuous chest pain related to lack of blood supply to the heart muscles secondary to myocardial infection as evidenced by what discomfort in arm, jaw and shoulder of patient as well as nausea. So here what is the subjective data? The patient complain about pain in chest. Objective data? The patient looks dull and tired. What is the goal? The patient will get relief from pain. So here you can see the planning, okay, rational and implementation, planning, do history collection, to understand the condition of the patient, that is the rational and completed physical examination. Do his, his physical examination to understand the condition of the patient, completed physical examination. Second one, assess the chest pain is radiating or not to differentiate the type of myocardial infraction, assessed and confirmed. Monitor and document the characteristics of pain to provide proper management, monitored and documented the type of pain. Monitor vital signs and respiration and note the work of breathing to provide oxygen and other medications monitored and 
then administer supplemental oxygen if they have breathing difficulty only okay then to improve the myocardial and tissue oxygenation oxygen is administered via nasal prongs at a flow rate of 2 to 5 that means depends okay the, how the doctor is giving in that way then provide a quiet and calm environment to reduce the anxiety provided physical rest and calm and quiet environment instruct the client to do slow deep breathing to reduce pain pain patient started to perform slow deep breathing exercise administer medication as per the doctor's orders for what to reduce the pain and administered medication and at last you can write the evaluation the patient started to get relief from pain and discomfort so this diagnosis for acute chest pain so you can use this nursing diagnosis as well as this nursing care plan for myocardial infraction and if your condition is myocardial infraction you can use this ami that means acute myocardial infraction you can use this thing heart attack okay so for this this these three conditions you can this thing, uh, use this nursing diagnosis and care plan hope you understand guys thank you